I'm Laura Minnell and you're watching TheUpandComers.com. Good afternoon. Today we are joined by none other than Laura Minnell. How you doing, Laura? Good. How are you? All right. Thank you very much for joining us on TheUpandComers.com. It's my pleasure. All right. So we, uh, we sought you out. Um, you're doing some big things right now. You got a, a lot of big projects on the go. Doesn't seem like you stopped working. <laughs> I try. Yeah, it's a, it's a, like I said, we sought you out because um, you know you're doing the doing the up and up and comers definition thing. So we had to look you know look you up. Um, so let's just you know let's get started. Uh, what, you got a lot of credits coming out, and there's a lot of people that you you've worked with. I'm just gonna uh, name a few just to name a few. Okay. You've worked with uh, the famous Peter O'Toole. Um, you've worked with uh, Anna Paquin, yeah. um, Penelope Cruz, uh, Ben Kingsley, uh, Dennis Hopper, uh, Pam Greer, um, you know, a, a guy that I'm going to put in that same um, vein is uh, Chris Goche. Just um, Chris Goche is one of our up-and-comers, but he is going to be among the greats as well. Yeah. Um, with that kind of, uh, you know, roll call, um, you know, what's it like to work with, um, you know, that many people? Uh, you know, we, even, we can even throw Steven Seagal in the mix. Like, you know, what, what's, what's it like to work with this, such a, a vast amount of great talent like that? I think it's great. It's really exciting. Um, especially when I was in The Watchmen, I got to work a lot with uh, Billy Crudup, who I've always thought is a really great actor with, you know, amazing shows like Almost Famous and whatnot. And, it's exciting. You get to learn, you get to watch, you get to act with them, which is even better. So it's great. Okay. Um, well, let's, uh, yeah, you just mentioned it. Let's talk about the Watchmen. Uh, you play the character. Uh, let me, hold on. Let me, let me see let me if I can. You. Yeah, no, no. I, I know you're, you're, it's Janie Slater. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. And can you tell me a little bit about Janie Slater? Well, I mean, the great thing about playing Janie Slater was she's Dr. Manhattan or slash John o she's a uh, John Osterman's girlfriend prior to him becoming Dr. Manhattan so you get to see her in the 1950s sort of her love story develop with him him turn into this crazy blue man and then he dumps her because she ages and and I, I go as far as you know the 1980s and you know end up getting some kind of cancer that looks like it could be radioactive and could be from him so. oh, okay and that's and so we don't know yet so that's definitely a reason to check out the watchman if you've read the book you probably know that was a really really big movie not a lot of people can say they've been in the watchman what was that what was that set like it was the most amazing set I've ever been on ever like just especially because it was a period piece and they would go through like the 1950s all the way to the 80s and like the costumes and the wardrobe it just created this amazing world for you to work in it was great so um as far as stuff to um check on you for so we got uh, watchmen um is that out on dvd now or yeah it just came out on dvd the director's cut just came out i think they even just finished up doing a limited release in theaters of the director's cut which is pretty cool, so should check that out for sure. Okay. I just picked mine up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and then we had Smallville that uh, just aired, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so what else do you got? I, I, have you, uh, I see you have a show here called Eureka. Yeah, uh, Eureka, my episode should be coming out fairly soon. I don't know exactly when, but I guest star as a, a role called, um, who do I play? Mariana Rivers. She's a synthetic water doctor. And in the episode, some people seem to be drowning from the inside out. So I kind of need to help Carter figure out what's can, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Eureka? Like, what, what is the show about? Eureka is a, a great sci-fi. It's kind of uh, peppy and fun. Uh, takes place in a small town where all, I think, the, uh, the grit, let's see. Where all these, hmm. There's crazy stuff going on in small. Uh, crazy stuff going on in Eureka. Like, um, like you say sci-fi, like what you people getting superpowers or people building weapons or what's. It's um, hmm. 
there's just a lot of crazy stuff going on in this small, small town that you'd never believe, pretty much. Is there crazy stuff going on with your character? Yeah, she's a water doctor. She creates synthetic water that can sort of replenish itself and keep like I can literally take a water bottle and go like this and it's synthetic so it just keeps coming continuously continuously, oh. continuously. and so unfortunately some people are drowning from the inside because of my water it seems that's the mystery of it all oh. that probably didn't make sense no it made absolute sense like if you drink a, a little bit of water it, it, you know it replenishes itself it goes where it's supposed to when it's done but your water just keeps making more and more and more of it but right you're not supposed to drown from the inside out. Normally, it's supposed to be this brilliant, lovely water, but I guess it becomes problematic in one episode. That sounds really, really cool. I can't wait to check that out. Yeah. Um, so we got another credit here that uh, one of your more current credits, uh, something called Health Nuts. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that? Um, it's a it's a nice half hour comedy pilot for the uh, APTN network. I get to play Jennifer Noir, who's this. Eris sculptor who kind of has a thing for her male models um, and yeah it's a nice little role and it should reoccur if, if, the, if the show gets picked up so hopefully it'll get picked up. If I was to ask you who your favorite actor was who would you say it is? Ever? Uh, yeah. Uh, I love so many. I love like early Al Pacino stuff. I love like Jennifer Connelly. I love Hilary Swank in Boys Don't Cry. Um, just too many to too many to name. I so think. you don't have one. You don't have one favorite actor. No, I have roles that are my favorite a lot of the time, but I, I can't pick one favorite actor. There's too many. Can you tell us your favorite uh, on set experience? Uh, I loved being on Flight 93. Um, it was a difficult show to be on. That was for A and E. It was a Emmy nominated show that did about quite the plane well. the plane crash. Yeah, yeah, and since it you know took place. Uh, since it was more about the events in 9-11 and, and whatnot, it, it was just, it heightened everything just because it was a real person you were playing and whatnot. But yeah, I loved being on that set. I loved being on Watchmen as well. Okay. Um, can you tell us your worst experience? Worst experience? Are you supposed to talk about those? Yeah, let's, I mean, you don't have to say what the show was, but you can tell us about the experience and how it was a bad experience. really difficult question um have you ever had a show that was hard to work on um, i think everybody has right like sometimes you need to work and you need money so you know you work on odd things but i think you learn from everything even if it's a horrible script or a horrible this is a bad question this is a diplomatic answer this, <laughs> this is, is a, a very diplomatic answer i i am excited to work on anything and no, this is a very difficult question. Okay, let's skip it then. No, I'm let's... trying to think. I just don't like witnessing certain people sometimes belittling other people. I haven't had a lot of problems, but sometimes you can see sort of higher up people. Yeah, the way they talk little, to certain people, yeah. A little prima donna-ish with other people, but I haven't had a horrible, horrible experience. Knock on wood. Okay, so let's ask, let's let's get into this. Um, celebrity crush, past, present, or future? Okay, past. I remember, and I met him too. I, when I was nine, I had a crush on Christian Slater. Okay. Like every girl? I, I loved him. I had like teen bop magazines and like posters of him up in my wall and whatnot. Anyway, I quite liked him. I think it was from Robin Hood, that Robin Hood movie that he was in. Okay. But anyways, I met him in my early, early 20s, and I hadn't had a crush on him for a while. But uh, this producer that I knew was like, oh, Laura, have you met Christian? And then suddenly I became like my nine-year-old self again, and my heart was pumping, and I tried to play it cool, and I was like, Christian? Christian? Like, like I don't know who he is. I'm like, nice to meet you, really good to meet you. But I was like, g -g 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 -g. it was really embarrassing, actually. Hopefully he doesn't remember. So, um... If you look at your IMDb, mm -hmm. uh, it, you one of your fans uh, has said that he hopes that you get cast as the new Catwoman in the in the Dark Knight series, the new Batman series. How do you feel about that? Uh, hey, I wish he was a producer. That would be great. <laughs> or <are you> the <laughs> producer's son or yeah. assistant. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm cool with it. I like her outfit. Yeah.